سنای استرالیا سخنانی سناتور کلرمور دوازدهم نوامبر 2013 فراخان به اقدام بین المللی برای آزادی هفت گروگان و تضمین امنیت لیبرتی This evening I'm wanting to talk about a group of strong people, a small group of people who have been on hunger strike outside the DFAT buildings in Melbourne since um, 19th of September. These people are friends and family and supporters of the PMOI, the People Mahajin Organisation. And I can um, spell that later. But the PMOI has had a long history of discrimination and, uh, and horror. Um, they have sought um, freedom and they have actually had a very destructive time. Moved a lot of their people from, the, from Iran, where they were living, with discrimination with that regime, moved to Iraq under a promise of freedom and moved to a place which became well known as Camp Ashraf. This camp was situated outside Baghdad and over, since 1986 the people there had built up a real city. People from Camp Ashraf had been moved from their place of sanctuary under promise from the UN that they'd be protected. They'd been taken to another location. Since the Americans left Iraq, there have been a number of serious attacks on Camp Ashraf and the people knew that they weren't safe. But on the 1st of September this year, a particular situation um, occurred which has caused greater urgency to the fear. The UNHCR has released a statement about the attacks on the 1st of September which reads, According to the reports reaching UNHCR, seven individuals formerly residing in Camp New Iraq disappeared from the camp on the 1st of September. They are being held somewhere in Iraq and may be at risk of being returned involuntarily to Iran. These seven are all known by the UNHCR to be asylum seekers and the agency hopes to have an opportunity to interview them. In light of the numerous and persistent reports over the past week that these individuals may be at risk of forced return to Iran, UNHCR calls upon the government of Iraq to locate them, to ensure their physical safety and to safeguard them against return to Iran against their will. That is the end of the quote. We know that these people have been found in various prisons in Iraq, all under immediate threat of being removed to Iran. As a result of the fear, a series of hunger strikes have taken place across the world. Iranians in, Cape Liberty, in Camp Liberty, which is the, the new location in Iraq, Five countries, including Switzerland, England, Germany, Canada and from the middle of September, Australia, across the world commenced a hunger strike calling for the release of seven Camp Ashraf residents being held hostage by Iraqi forces. Mr Deputy President, the people who are taking hunger strike action in our city of Melbourne are Australian citizens. They're turning to us to make sure that we're part of an international spokespeople who can talk through the UN to commit to ensure that people are safe. Mr Deputy President, these people are brave. They are calling for our assistance and I believe that we as Australians do have a responsibility to people to ensure that their friends, their family are not subject to execution and torture. Um, we know that we will continue to have discussions both at, at the national level here and internationally, but we do not have the right to turn our backs. Um, I commend their actions. I don't know whether I would have that strength. In fact, I know I would not. But I do think we should listen, understand and keep this message alive. Yeah, yeah.